welcome to KADYTV.com. We're in the dead mayor's room, is what we call it here. Somebody told me at the Watermark Hotel on election night 2011. And Greg Carson, how are you? I'm great, thank you. So tell me, tell me about this dead mayor society. Well, there's um, four of us that are that are ex mayors okay. that have formed together a group of people that we think alike. We uh, had the same kind of philosophies when we were elected in the office, and we now get together periodically to kind of discuss political events and um, have fun together. Well, it sounds like a great fun. It and, is, yeah. And we're supporting Cheryl Heitman here tonight at the Warwick. We Warwick. are, yeah, yeah. actually. That's exciting. Yeah. So do you sit around and watch watch the council meetings every week? No, not no. at all. <laughs> no. We, um, no, we just have fun together. I, I, I want to introduce the Dead Mayors if I can. Okay. Oh. First off, there's Jim Friedman here. And unfortunately, I didn't get to serve with any of them, but they're all fantastic. So Jim Friedman, okay. Sonny Smith, who I've known forever, who's a, a good friend, and Brian Brennan, who's currently on the city council <laughs> and great. is, um, you know, fantastic. And Brian Brennan. Yeah. Did I, what did I call you with? No, that was it. That was right. Yeah. No, I was just uh, yeah. reiterating yeah. that. I thought, you're like, I thought you were catching me. <laughs> no, not a, Which could happen easily. No catching here tonight. <laughs> so tell me, um, what years were you on council? Uh, 91. Oh, Jim's very good at that because he, he's a historian on that. But okay. I was 91 and 95. 91 and 95. Yeah. And so um, what made you decide to run? Oh, that's interesting. Story, if you actually. can remember that long oh, ago. Oh, totally. Right? I, I, I do. I, I started by, I went to, I went, uh, I had my business and I went to the city to redo my business and I heard different things from the planning commission, the design review and the in, the uh, the engineering department and okay. I decided that my city needed to be a different place and it needed to be cohesive and so I ran to make make downtown a better place. Good for you. And so over that four-year period, do you think you accomplished your goals? Yes, absolutely. And, and then you left? I did. <laughs> I was young, and I had a business to run, and I put my heart and soul into it for four years. And yeah, I mean, we redid the downtown in that four years, and <clears throat> Definitely. It's really amazing. I yeah. mean, uh, you know, Ventura, downtown Ventura is a great place to come and walk. But what, and it, what it showed out. is that you can really make a difference in a short period of time. Even just one if person. If you make it, if you, you know, if, if you have the guts to make it so happen. So you're going to tell all those people out there, even one person. Yeah, absolutely. One person can make a difference. Get involved. You absolutely. can make a difference. All right, great. And so what are you doing now? What I'm doing now is I, uh, I run my own businesses okay. and um, I'm enjoying life and I travel and um, I'm, I'm actually looking for my next venture that I want to do that make a difference in the world. The world, wow. the community, whatever that it is. That sounded really deep. <laughs> um, I think it should be. You know, I think life should be something that you contribute and you feel you know, great about what, you, what you're contributing and you know, making a difference in the world. That's great. And, and, you, and one person can make a huge difference. I agree with you. I agree with you. So here we are at KADYTV.com in the dead mayor's room at the Watermark. Right. Past mayors of Ventura, Jim Friedman, how are you? Very good, thank you. So tell me, uh, you're the historian of the group, so when did you serve on council? I served on council from 1995 through 2003. Okay, so you came after Greg. I came after Greg, and I was mayor from 97 to 2000, and then my friend Sandy Smith uh, followed me, and then my friend Brian Brennan followed me. That's great. So what's the difference between being on city council and being the mayor of Ventura? Um, it's, there's not a huge difference. It, it, the mayor's position is more of a figurehead. Um, I would say that all, all seven council members really have equal influence, so to speak. But as far as the spokesman of the city who gives most of the quotes to the press, who um, does more, most of the ceremonial things, it, it would be the, the mayor. Okay. Yeah. So um, while you were either in any of those positions, um, what was the most difficult thing that you had to do? Um, Probably when the El Nino hit in 1998 and the city was flooded and um, we were on a, a storm watch for about a week and there was flooding and there was potential uh, houses sliding but the, 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 the staff, the city staff, the police and fire did just an amazing job and 
everything turned out really well. And, I, and it was at that time I really got a, a, a real appreciation of what um, the, the, the um, employees of the city really do for the residents wow. of the city. Well, thank you for your service for Ventura. Any uh, plans for anything? Coming? Well, we, I, I, what I wanted to say is um, how that because a lot of people probably are, you know, this whole dead mayors thing started kind of <laughs> as a fluke. It was when car. Uh, it must have been about six years ago, okay. and we were doing the same thing because the dead mayors rise every two years and do exactly what we're doing tonight, where we. <laughs> Have dinner, have a, a few drinks, have some fun, and just enjoy ourselves. We, it was six years ago. It was about midnight after all the results were in, and it was me and Sandy and Greg and Brian, and we're in the Star Lounge at midnight. And an individual walks in who knew us and said, what are you guys doing here? And we said, we're having a drink. He said... A bunch of mayors. You look like a bunch of like dead mayors, and it, and, and it was at that moment I thought, dead mayor society, and that's when the that's when the organization started, and um, we remain Jim Friedman, Sandy Smith, Ryan Brennan, and Greg Carson, and um, it, it takes it takes a lot to get into the dead mayor society. There's a, a whole initiation process. And um, there has no, been no initiation since uh, the last six years. So we're waiting for the right person to get in. There you go. So here we are, the Dead Mayor Society coined at the Star Lounge on Main Street, downtown Ventura, with Jim Friedman at the Watermark 2011. Follow us online at KADYTV.com. Sandy Smith, one of the Dead Mayors. Hello, yeah, How Dead Mayor. How do you feel about that? Being a Dead Mayor? Or, yeah. uh, it's great, actually. You know, I mean, um, we are a group of former mayors that have a lot in common and uh, Brian Brennan and I actually ran together at the same time in 97 and we were both restaurant owners at the time. Uh, Jimmy Friedman uh, actually talked me into running. I'm not sure if I should thank him or not. And, um, you know, uh, Greg Carson, I was president of the Downtown Merchants Association when Greg ran on a, on a really a, sort of a let's make the downtown happen kind of ticket. And so I couldn't help but get involved in that. So, you know, we're sort of all connected a little bit, and we've been friends a long time. And uh, election night is um, sort of our Halloween and our Christmas and and Thanksgiving all kind of rolled into one. So we always get together, have dinner, and um, you know, make the rounds, and it's a lot of That's fun. fun. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. I mean, at least you have something to do every two years to get together, right? <laughs> well, actually, we get together regularly. Okay. Oh, uh, you know, we kind of rotate between houses, do dinner. And uh, it's a lot of fun, you know. We're all still involved locally, and and uh, we all care about the city. And you know, I was born here. All of it, Greg was born here. Um, you know, we're, we we haven't we haven't died. You know, we're still thing. engaged. That's a good thing. And and we all we communicate regularly with each other about what's going on in the community and the county. So. So now. Um you teach uh, uh, political science, right? At Cal I Lewis? teach public policy at Cal public Lutheran. Okay. That's right, in a master's program there. And um, uh, and who better to teach it than somebody who <laughs> banged his head on the wall all those years? Uh, actually, uh, I I I, it, it, I can use a lot of the stories from having been there and sort of teaching uh, some of the, the students, and they I think they they enjoy that. Well, I, a first-hand knowledge and everything, I'm sure that gives them an interesting insight. But, you know, um, there are seven council members mm -hmm. in Ventura and, right. and five in Oxnard. And We're the only city that has seven. That's right. right. Well, I wanted to ask you about that. So, mm -hmm. I mean, how do you think as far as governing goes when you have seven voices and trying to get consensus on a board of seven? I mean, how do you think that works? Well, the more voices, the better. I mean, if there was some way to manage it from a staff perspective, um, you know, I think one of the issues that we face nationally, um, statewide, and locally is too few voices that are engaged in decision making. Um, so I, I really think the more voices, the better, and we can find a way to make that happen so that we don't end up uh, having to decide, spend too much time deciding what color to paint a building. Uh, but when we when we weigh in on big issues that impact us as a community or a county, I think the, the, the more voices we have, the better. Um, Why do you think people don't get involved? You know, it, uh, you know, I think that there's a there's a sense of that that government is broken. Uh, I think a lot of people have retreated 
Um, you know, I talk about a lot about this in my class, the classes at Cal Lutheran. Um, you know, the onus is on government to be more accessible to the people. Um, at the same time, um, when voices are heard, that they can see that those voices have an impact on decisions that are made. Um, you know, so I think that we've got some work ahead of us. Um, clearly in California we have a government system that's broken and trying to restructure that and rethink state government I think is going to be interesting to watch over the years and give the dead mayors plenty to talk about uh, over the next couple years. To, to talk over, sure. over dinner, right? Definitely. So um, you're going to have at least one new council member uh, coming mm -hmm. up um, this year. So yes. how do you think you know that person's going to do? Oh, we hope that it's Cheryl. <laughs> well, I, you know, I worked on Cheryl's campaign. I've known Cheryl a long time. I mean, the thing I liked about Cheryl the most is, you know, given the fact that I'm, I mean, she's been engaged in the city, you know, for a while. I know know her. Um, you know, I'm going to say this, um, it, uh, having worked on her campaign, she's not the best, uh, the most outspoken, crisp politician that, that ran. But you know what? She's there for the right reasons. Um, she listens. She'll be a great consensus sort of person in the dialogue, and I think we need a lot more of that. Well, I have to tell you, Cheryl and I sat on the college board together for mm -hmm. four years, and you know what? When when push comes to shove, she is she's there, and she yeah, will voice yeah. her opinion, and she will try to build consensus. So, right. I mean, that's an, that's an exciting thing. She'll be great. I think so, too. Yeah. So, Sandy Smith, here we are at the Dead Mayor Society Good in uh, the Watermark. Nice to okay. see you, too. KADY TV right. Brennan, how are you? Doing fine. Doing fine on this wonderful election day. So, you look pretty good for a dead mayor. Well, you know, it's amazing what embalming fluid can do for you. <laughs> You're so funny. So, gosh, you know, I was thinking about the first time that we met. You know, it was about, it was in 2002. And Roma, God bless her soul, God. introduced us. Roma yeah. Arm Bruce was just an amazing yeah. person. Yeah, exactly. You know? it's, it's still, I think, what would Roma do? What would Gene Harris do? What would, um, we were very lucky to have some wonderful leaders ahead of us to, I mean, you talked to certainly Greg Carson earlier, Jim Friedman, Sandy Smith. I mean, you know, it's just drafting their tire. You know, I don't think I would have ever run for office if it hadn't been for Roma Armbrus. I, she's inspired a she's, lot of people, hasn't she? She has. I remember when I was uh, just getting surf riders started here a number of years ago, and she came to our meeting herself and Jean and said, "You guys got to come down there and put the fences up. You got to keep the surfers out. You got the birds are there." And then we went down and said, oh. first of all, I had no idea, but we ended up." You could not say no to this lady no. to start with. And she was only about this tall. This high, <laughs> but full of piss and vinegar. Please. And she was, and we got down there and I said, oh my God, yeah. what an incredible place. And, and since then, I mean, Surfrider every year went down there and worked on putting the fences up to protect Snowy Plover and, and educate surfers and beach users that this was a very special place. So, so it sounds like some of the things that she talked about early on, I mean, you take that over to the policies that you make here in Ventura, right? I um, still continue that. I, I, it lives right here. That's right awesome. here, and uh, and Carla Bard was another inspiration. I mean, uh, that uh, I still have her message. I saved it years ago, and it was she left me a message before she left town and passed away. And but uh, she said, "Hey, I'm glad you made it to the council. You got to stick with your values. You got to stick with you know we." And, and it still it still sticks with me. And, I think um, you always need that little inspiration to really figure out what it is that you're doing and the decisions that you make. Absolutely, impacts so many to people. have leaders like that. And the interesting thing is, is to have Roma, Jean, you know, Carla, Dorothy Green down in L.A. God rest her soul. All four incredible women that came out of the League of Women Voters. That, most of them, I, mean, I would say about 90% of those people were teachers that retired and said, what are we going to involve ourselves in? And it was about protection of the coast. They were and, the teachers of that. Yeah, right? absolutely. And I sit on the Coast Commission now, and I have a couple opportunities. We were talking about wetlands just recently, and it was like 50 acres. And it was like, well, gee, what's 50 acres? And, you know, I mean, is it that big a deal? And I said, you know what? Romo's in front of me. I know it would have made, and, and, and it really made me think. And I got to just say thank you to, to the, that leadership they provided, both you and me, and a number of people in this community that we got to recognize that while we're moving into the future, we got to remember who 
those where leaders we were from. where we came That's from. Right. Exactly. Absolutely. So yeah. you're going to have at least one new council member tonight, you know, after mm -hmm. the election tonight. So how do you think you're going to work with that individual, and what are the first steps that you hope to accomplish with them? Well, first of all, let me just say a huge kudos to Bill Fulton, uh, our mayor, is yeah. stepping down. Uh, um, tough duty this last two years. I mean, going from a recall because of the library's closing to uh, which was short-lived obviously to parking meter issues yeah. to all the kind of things cities got to go through and recognize that we have some assets are we using them well could we use them better and obviously not trying to gouge anybody but recognize that it's a value so I wanted to say huge kudos to Bill and he's his leadership's been wonderful but I would say uh, with the new person coming on board I think the opportunity to recognize the sort of the uh, you know the DNA that's already here, and looking forward to um, somebody bringing a different perspective. I, I would say if you look at our council now, and we have seven members, we have from probably seven diverse uh, points of view. That when we get into discussion, they bring that to the table. You push it through the filters, and you come out with some good policy. I mean, some people will say, "Well, gee, you know, everything we do is wrong." And and believe me, we don't get it right all the time. I mean, we're human, and we try to do what's best for the citizens of the city and and try to move it forward. But I'm very, very fortunate to be an incredible community like Ventura that has both the arts, has the environmental uh, uh, um, DNA that it has, and I think the, the you spoke to both Greg Carson and Sandy Smith, who have been, who grew up here. Yeah. That a number of folks still live here that care deeply about it. So, obviously, we don't want to be like somewhere else, but we want to be ourselves, and that's very difficult to do. It's easy to point at somebody and say, "Let's be like them," because they've already got a template. But when you're trying to figure it out yourself, it's you know, it, it's part of what a community is about. So, bringing that extra, the new person that's coming on board. Um, I think brings a perspective and, and leadership that I look forward to working with. That's great. You know, Ventura really is a great place to be, and I come over and visit from the other side of the river, which is great. Yeah, yeah. I, I love it here. I mean, it's really We nice. haven't put the toll road up yet. You know? <laughs> <laughs> In fact, Roma actually tried to convince me to come and move here to Ventura. She did. She did. She knew. She wanted you to run for office years ago because <laughs> she did. wanted leadership here. There you go. Well, but by the way, you're doing a great job on the Port Commission, thank so thank you. you. I appreciate Jason it. Jason Hodge, and uh, we're really what a, a new perspective to a, to a body that maybe it didn't have that before. So. You know, and, and we just, uh, we were very concerned, you know, when the Federal Register came out with the snowy plover, and we brought that forward to, to make sure that we protected the environment there and made sure that our surrounding communities were aware of it too. So we're all in this together, right? As we well, we're very lucky to have the resources we do. Yeah. Most people don't recognize that about 95% of the wetlands are gone in this community, in the state. Um, and they're the filters that deal with the water quality issues. So to have a, a gym like Ormond, I mean, we should we should be celebrating, and we are. I think that's good news. Well, thanks for sharing your thoughts sure. and your times. And here we are at KADYTV.com at the Dead Mayor Society at the Watermark. Thanks You're for being You're invited back anytime. <laughs>